Welcome to Future of Wrestling. We're back here. It's Wayne Bates, and I'm alongside my broadcast partner, Scotty Bear. Scotty, welcome to the show. Are you excited about tonight's action back night in Washington, D.C.? Yeah, but I'm still waiting for that Jin Tunney to answer my question. Jin Tunney is he Asian now? Shut up. Oh, I'm sorry, Scotty. I'm not trying to get in your bad side, but to start the night off, of course we're going to have an open challenge by Kenny Omega. And we saw last week what Kenny Omega was all about, didn't we? Indeed we did. But tonight's open challenge, I'm kind of curious to see who in the locker room will come out and, you know, take that that, that opportunity. I would like to see Alistair Black, personally. Mm. So he could kick his head off. Alistair Black's actually a, 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 that's a name that, you know, we, we gotta very, we gotta look at that. Because that, that could be an opportunity, and that could be a question mark about you know, two bad guys, because we've seen what Aleister Black's gonna do, and I mean, also, he's gonna be facing Undertaker at the New Blood Rising paper. I know, great warm-up match, beat Kenny Omega, head into New Blood Rising, and face off against the Undertakers. Yes, and you guys saw that brand new Spick and Span hype video, but who is gonna t- no way. Tyler, you hear, you hear this, Scotty? Is it really mm-hmm. him? It's him! Tyler Interest. Fitz. Interesting for him to pick Kenny Omega. Very interesting. Very weird debut opportunity for Tyler Bates. Mm-hmm. It's going to be interesting to see how Tyler Bates deals with the knees of Kenny Omega. Exactly, that, that's, that's one thing we saw last week that Kenny Omega is all about. I mean, Kevin Owens can tell you what happened at Mayhem in part one. Those knee strikes are one of the most dangerous moves that you have to watch out for when it comes to Kenny Omega. But Tyler Bate, one of the youngest wrestlers in FOW. How old is he, uh, Scotty? I want to say 25. I thought he was younger than me, and I'm 23. I think he's maybe 21 or 22. Dang, he's he's so younger than me, and I'm 50. Oh, of course. Uh, soon enough, you can uh, cash in on your retirement fund. <laughs> Wrestling retirement fund. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But the bell's gonna ring, and yes, you see your uh, your favorite referee. This son of a bitch. Oh, but you can see right off the gate, lock up, and in the corner, Kenny Omega, Tyler Bate. I'm surprised Kenny Omega didn't go for, you know, cheap shot. Indeed, very much going to play by the books for the most part. But if, if I was Kenny Omega, I would play by the books, and then if I can't get that final pinfall, cheat. And of course, you would cheat. But, oh, look at that, her Karana by Tyler Ohu. Right on the forehead of Kenny Omega. On the second there is, there's no problem with cheating, my good sir. If you've tried everything you can, then you should cheat. Yeah, and you know how this referee is. He can't do too much. You know, uh, He's very blind, so he probably won't see it anyways. But what is Kenny Omega thinking here with Tyler Bate? Oh, here we go. Not this. Lifts him up. And... <clears throat> right on the apron. That apron, that you, we've said this so many damn times, hardest part of the ring. Indeed, especially especially when it comes to that LED board, because that just adds an extra little bit of impact, too. Yes, because you have that uh, that bar that goes around the ring for that uh, as well, so that's not helping much. Mm-hmm. But this is a very good contest so far. I'm surprised that Kenny Omega is... Uh, lacking against Tyler Bates. Indeed. Agreed. He might, he might be just missing a step or two, but it seems like he is going as Kenny Omega would usually go. Yes, take it very slow and just wear down the body of his opponent. 
And but you Ooh. see all the nice reversals so far by these two men. Indeed. Now let's see what Tyler Bates' attack goes to when Kenny Omega's on defense. See, there's always an offense, there's always a defense, so... Oh! Hip attack? Pulling something out of Goldust's playbook. Yes, and that was actually vicious! What a sit-down powerbomb from the corner! Kenny Omega is in control right now, uh-oh! Ooh! Oh, 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 man, close one. But right oh. back on the attack! Butterfly Pile Driver! Damn, that's gotta be it, but Kenny Omega isn't done! Look has he been watching- has he been watching my old tapes? Oh, he could be, but look at the strength there with that beautiful sit-down powerbomb. But Tyler Bate taking a tiny breather. Oh, he caught the elbow right off of Kenny Omega's bridge of the nose. Ooh. Oofa. And now Tyler Bate <laughs> getting the crowd pumped up a bit. Yes, Kenny, please knock down that referee. Please do, please do. Oh, oh, this could be it. One, One two. Oh, that ref is way too slow. Well, hopefully we have that brand new ref coming to the next pay-per-view again. Maybe even oh. sooner than that. And no. Ooh. Uh, that's the third sit-down power bomb. And Kenny Omega has not went for a cover after any of them. But Tyler Bate with the comeback. Indeed. Let's see. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, man. Wrenching that knee. Great modified leg lock there by Kenny. Yeah, and Tyler Bate does not wear knee, you know, knee protection. So that's got to be even worse on the knee. See what, see what Tyler's got in store for Kenny. Oof. Man, just I love these reversals. I'm I'm surprised Tyler Bate is doing it. Not another one of these. Butterfly pile driver. Now you gotta go for the cover. It's gotta be it. Uh oh. He's is he calling he's, for it, Scotty? He's looking for it. This oh. could be it if he hits this and he dies. One winged angel. One, two, three. What? Wow! Wow! Tyler Bate with a kick out at two in like 2.9. I, to be truthful and honest, did not see that one coming at all. I did not either, honestly. I, I didn't think Tyler Bate was going to have the... Oh, man. Just the reversals. He's just fighting back. He's not giving up. That is not in Tyler Bate. Mm-hmm. Oh, let's see what he does. Ooh! Flying uppercut. Pulling something out of old Cesaro's playbook. Yes, and, and it works and use it. Ooh. Indeed. Oh, man. Especially to the lower back. Exactly, you're right about that. So. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh! Spinning senton heel kick. Beautifully executed. Ooh. And only a two count. Referee actually is doing a very decent job this time. He's not running around like he's, uh, you know, lost. Indeed. Uh oh. oh. 450. Come on, Tyler. You know better than to just jump off the top. But he is a young, younger wrestler, so, you know, he's going to take those chances. Oh, a nice drop kick to Kenny Omega. Indeed. Let's see what he does now. Oh, looks like he's going for a suplex. And boom. Beautiful stalling suplex, by the way. And yes, and another stiff elbow to the chest. This could be... One. Ooh. Oh. One. Yep, Kenny Omega. Oh. oh. Went for that second one, but missed it this time. But up. Oh. Oh. oh, nice reversal by Tyler Bate. Going for the cover. One. Two, uh, oh man, what a match this is to start off the night. Oh, another drop kick. Beautiful drop kick again. Uh oh. Monkey oh. flip. Beautifully done, monkey flip. 
And that has got to be the strength. Uh oh. Tyler Driver. This. Oh my gosh. Hit it. One. Two. Oh. oh my gosh. Both men kicking out of each other's finisher. Uh oh. This. Oh. Eight. Haven't seen that one in a while. No, I, I haven't seen it either. That's Two. Like, that was a Ooh. Good again. Kenny Omega. Tyler Bate. Both not giving up against each other. It's going to take a lot more than that. Let's see what he does next. Uh oh, look at that. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. oh. Look at the reversals again. Oh, Ooh. Another one. Beautiful Frankensteiner. Yes, exactly. Uh oh. Oh! Right to the forehead with a punch! What do you call that? A flipping one? Uh oh. Oh, Tyler Driver on the outside! Oh my gosh! No way! No, Oof. my gosh, I I can't believe Tyler Bate is being more aggressive on the outside against Kenny Omega. Liger, Liger would be proud. Yes, he would. And he, if he's smart, he would. And yes, he is going for the cover. This One, could be it. two, three. No way. Wow. Wow, Tyler Bate with a shocking victory in the open challenge match that Kenny Omega... Maybe the confidence was just a little too much hit for Kenny Omega. Wow. But that Over, overconfidence is a killer for sure. Especially after this one winged angel when you think he has it. Tyler Bate pulls out something from the experts. Especially with that Liger bomb. He calls the Tyler driver. Yep, and then hitting it on the outside may have knocked a little bit of... I don't think Kenny Omega was thinking at all after that Tyler Driver on the outside. You can see he's on the mat and he's got to be dazed, maybe a concussion. You know, that could have been a factor at the end of this match. But Tyler Bate, anyways, getting the victory here tonight. Shockingly. I'm shocked by this, but Tyler Bate, great job. You deserve that one. Mm -hmm. Man. Well, that was Very a, much so. Yeah, it, it seems like everybody thinks that FOW is going to be all about the matches that the beginning of the show is not going to be main event style. And we get a main event in the beginning. Very much so. But I can't complain when we're getting that kind of action on future wrestling. But up next, uh, another match that we got to focus on. Another match that I'm excited about. And uh, hang on. Shark Boy's in the ring already hang on is it, no way you hear the music scotty oh boy is it him he said he was here he said he was coming he said he was debuting Jeez, why is there so much smoke around here i know <clears throat> i thought my vape was a lot Jeez, yeah you need to plug that in or something not while you're watching these matches look at the gray white Oh. That's scary. That mask is just ugh. Is he the Joker? It's it's a I would say more of an ode to the old school horror icons, like that of a Freddy and a Jason. Yes, and the, the, that's got in. That's got to be an intimidation to his opponents. And Shark Boy is in the ring. Shark. Scotty, we've said this before, and I think we're going to say it again. Shark Boy, run. Indeed, very much run. This is a Bray Wyatt who is more focused than ever to destroy everything in his path, especially with that rambling rabbit, too. Oh, yes. Yeah. And again, Scotty, Shark Boy, why did he even take this money? Why did he sign off on this? Money. Always, always the money. He's going to get destroyed. We might not see Shark Boy again in FOW. I know, but still. See, this could be. Just look at this. this. Look at him. This could be his last payment. <laughs> well, I guess if you Some... want your last payday to be against this guy, I'm so glad I'm not in the ring, damn it. Mm -hmm. Man, 
Uh, Shark Boy just such a circus act. I think sh th this is a weird match. Oh, but right off the bat, elbow. Oh. Oh man. What's going on? Uh oh. Bray Wyatt suplex oh. back into the ring. And, and like you said, it, this is a more focused Bray Wyatt. It's going to be very intriguing to see the storylines involved in his career going forward, but uh, Shark Boy, I don't know what he was thinking. He's not thinking. He's just like the referee. But remember, he wants the money. Yep. Yep, I agree with you. But Bray Wyatt... Oh! Okay, Shark Boy! <laughs> Could we see another Tyler Bate match and Shark Boy actually win this? If Shark Boy wins this, I'll be surprised, but not with that uppercut and that bouncing clothesline. Yeah, that, that that's a big man hitting you. One. Oh, oh. come on, Shark Boy, stay down, please. We don't want to have to pay for a funeral after this. Oh, but he's fighting back. I'm shocked, but he's, he's fighting back. He's coming back. He's coming back like all the old school jobbers from oh. the '80s. He just gave Bray Wyatt the middle finger. <laughs> oh. Two. Tune into his shell, yeah, phase. Yeah, it's not gonna, he's not going to be a damn shark after this match. It's gonna be more Where's the clam juice? Just call him a guppy boy after this match. Let's oh, see what he's gonna, ooh, beautiful jawbreaker. But Bray Wyatt just, it doesn't phase him. Yeah. Oh my gosh. And, and look, look at that lariat, lariat you yeah. know, uh, you know who would be very proud of that one. Stan Hansen all the time. Yep, and JBL too, you know, that was more like a clothesline from hell. Yeah, very much so. But Shark Boy's kicking out, I, I, I don't understand it, I don't get it, why? Why? You're gonna, You're gonna kill yourself. yourself. Now hang on, <laughs> he's not suicidal here. Oh, here it is, you're a Nagi. He's killing himself by even signing off on this match. Well, it wasn't his choice to pick the opponent. Oh, oh gosh. Well, I wouldn't have... This was, was definitely a bad night to even think about it, but... Sister oh. Abigail. And that could One, definitely be it. One, two, three. And a debut it is for Bray Wyatt. And the future is bright for the guy who's more focused on more than ever in Bray Wyatt. In indeed. It's going to. I already have a prediction. What? What's that? Almster Black versus Bray Wyatt in the future. They never know what could happen. I know. I mean, Almster Black has been focusing a whole lot on other dark. Entities, and this one is a new version of an Undertaker, a King, a Sting, and Bray Wyatt is here in Future Wrestling. Follow the buzzards, or f or follow the blood. That that rambling rabbit was off his battering ram. Yes, so that's true. And then tasting the blood of uh, yeah. Can, can we talk some? Can I talk about something here really quick? Yes, go ahead, Scotty. Why hasn't Jim Tunney not brought up to, or anything has been brought up to his attention about me not showing up at the last show and being delivered wrong directions? Oh, he did talk to me, and he, he said he um, will definitely get you the right directions moving forward for every show and every day. But what about the challenge I've delivered? I want the ref in the ring. That son of a bitch. Okay, here's the deal. I'll talk to Jim Tunney and we'll, we'll see what we can do. But up next, though, Scotty, are you ready for the next match? Yes, I am. Ooh. Oh, 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 oh. Uh, what did they used to call themselves as this tag team? The Red Dragon. Exactly. In the Undisputed Era, Kyle O'Reilly and Bobby Fish is in tag team action tonight. It's going to be great to see. You know this makes you happy. Last week you got oh. to see your... Uh, you, 
you got to see Adam Cole the other week, and now you get to see your boys. I know. It's going to be interesting to see what these two boys have in store for everybody in this arena. Yes, but the question is, who are they facing tonight? Because I have no clue who it is yet. I haven't been in control. It's not even on my papers. Then why have this match anyways? Well, apparently there's a tag team that is debuting in FOW. And Kyle O'Reilly and Bobby Fish wanted a tag team match. They said, give us competition. They don't want jobbers, they want competition. So who could it be? Any uh, idea before the music hits? I have no idea. Uh, we're about to find out. Uh, if it's a blue world order, I'm going to be pissed. Uh oh. Hang on. Do you hear that music? Um, hello, Edge? Edge? The rated R superstar Edge is in FOW? Hang on. It doesn't even have a bad neck. What the hell is going on here? Uh, Who opened the time travel machine? Jim Tunney, come on. Get in my mic and tell me what's going on here. Okay, okay, Jim. Jim, Jim slow down. Jim Tunney is telling me that Edge is here and he has actually been told by the doctors that he is healthy enough for one more run. One last run. And it's going to be a future of wrestling. Why do, why do you want to murder this man, Jim? Where are you? I have no idea where he is. I don't know, but who's his tag team partner? Oh my god. Captain Charisma himself, Christian Cage. Man, have you, would, would you ever think, or would you ever thought, that we could get... The Undisputed Era is Bobby Fish and Kyle O'Reilly versus Edgy Christian ever? Nope. I would have never seen that. And we're getting it here tonight. I'm sorry. Man, and this night is getting better and better, isn't it, Scott? Why does Jim Tunney want to kill Edge? Why? Uh, well, apparently he is... He's, he's allowed. The doctors have said that... One last run is okay, but he has to retire after that. Where is this doctor? From Puerto Rico? Jeez. Probably the doctor that, uh, you know, put in his mouth was an injury. There goes Hippolaz again. Uh, yeah, uh, looks like FRW's getting sued. Yeah. yeah. Well, there goes our paycheck. Well, your paycheck? Not mine. I don't get paid. I get paid. Well, you get paid by the dollar bill. I get paid per appearance. <laughs> so I've already got my check in the bank. Cha-ching. Uh, Jim, who kind of has a talk contract, okay? Damn it. I want per appearance. What the hell? But I, I, let's just get on with this match. Edge and Kyle O'Reilly to start things off. And Edge out of... Oh! Oof. Man. And, of course, already Edge is down and not really getting up. Uh-oh. No. Oh. That's got to be doing some damage on the neck already. Indeed it is. You know, you're getting the rip whiplash from the those kicks and stomps. Oh. Ooh. Not a lot of huge fans in here for uh, Edge and Christian. I know. It sounds like uh, Undisputed Era chants are going on. I guess they're really yeah. looking for the future. But that, that's okay, though. Oh, nice reversal by Kyle O'Reilly. Oh, man. And then the forearm in the corner there. It's very much going to be an MMA style versus a brawler style of a match. Yeah. Undisputed Air is going to be very good with just the one-on-one -on -one pairings. But when it comes down to the two-on-ones, Edge and Christian will have it no doubt. I agree with you for that. So much. But look, Edge is going to have to really watch him and his neck and those, those big-time blows and off. Like, do not go to the top rope, Edge. For God's sake, don't. Or at the top of the ladder. 
Uh oh. Oh. Well, well, um, that might. Uh, well. Oof. Goodbye, Edge. Yeah. That was that's brutal. that's that's going to be uh, hurting on the neck for sure. Oh man, uh, the referee might be changing his. his... Ooh, the edge, not showing like the neck is bothering him. So hopefully, but you know the 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 thing is is the age and the time going to be a you know a factor in this match? Is it Kyle Riley, Bobby Fish, or younger? younger? Indeed, <sighs> but Edge and them. Have the experience, and when that experience comes out to show, they're going to be able to use their energy at the best point at the right time. Oh, oh, not on the neck on the outside. Oh, Scotty, I don't know how much I can watch Edge in this match. I know Edge. Edge is going to be taking a lot of heat from this. And now we got a hot tag from Christian. And good thing Edge. Yeah. This might be a two on one match after this. Indeed it is. It's it's gonna be interesting to see how Christian combats the two on one while Edge is kind of recovering on the outside. I agree with you, but look at the nice neck breaker by Christian. And Christian can still go, I believe that. It, indeed, I'm gonna I'm gonna throw it out there and say uh Christian may have a little more title in this future. And look at that! Beautiful reverse slam DDT. Yep, and, and Christian, another suplex. And maybe he can win this match two on one, but these are two guys that you are going to have trouble with. Uh oh. Ooh. Ooh. Unprettier. Yep, and then tagging in Edge. I thought he should have went for the cover. That's a veteran mistake. Indeed. It's interesting to see what they do next. Exactly. Uh, maybe Edge was looking for a spear, but Bobby Fish came back into this match. And DDT! Oh, nice, beautiful. Edge still has it a little bit, but just still got to watch the neck. Educator! Education! Well, that's an educator. It, it, basically, we could say educator after that. And is he going for a spear? Oh, oh yes! Yes! Thank you, Edge! He speared the damn ref because he was in the way. Thank you. That's so... Beautiful man. <laughs> that has got to make you happy. I am happy as a barn burning Texan. <laughs> uh, you didn't see that? We both didn't see that coming. One beautiful <laughs> spinning heel kick. Maybe you won't need your match after that. Nope, I still want to beat his ass. <laughs> Good. But beautiful suplex onto Kyle O'Reilly. <laughs> what the heck are you doing, Dedge? <laughs> Don't get yourself DQ'd now. <laughs> he wants that damn right. He said, you got it my effing way. Could have finished this match a long time ago. We're going for a cover. Here we go. One. Oh. oh man, what a! <laughs> I think that just made Scotty Bear's night. Ah, uh, a lot of boost though for Edge. He did a good thing though. Yes, yes. Please keep Edge in FMW now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, nice reverse so on Christian. Uh, Good time to take a breather. Yeah. Uh, oh, man. Oof. Right on the outside, on the concrete. And like we've said, that, said something about the mats again. They're not they're not that thick at all. Yeah. It's going to be interesting to see how these boys work around being thrown to the outside so much. Yeah, and I think Bobby Fish actually might be injured. Over there, you see him. He's really, uh, it looks like his right knee may be injured. I think that might be the injury we've seen before. So, this might be another two on one situation. Yeah, especially with Kyle. Kyle is more of the expert on submission Ooh, styles, like, like right that. here. Beautiful. Oh my gosh. 
I haven't seen that in FOW yet. Oh, uh, it's a very, very good guillotine, especially with the leg scissors. Oh, but Christian trying to use his power and strength to break out of that, and he did. And look at that! That was a great neck breaker. That was a twist. Indeed it was. Yeah, I think Bobby Fish actually might be injured. Oh! And Christian tried to get involved with Bobby, but... Working the back of Kyle O'Reilly and that right on the spine. Indeed. Working working the upper part of the spine, which is more working on the arms and legs, or the arms and the neck. So I'm betting Christian's going to try to go for another arm prettier here on Kyle O'Reilly here shortly. Hopefully, shortly. And Christian out of the box trying to get out of that corner, which was very veteran like. Great experience there. Uh-oh. Ooh. Ooh. Reverse slam. He hit that again. And is he going? Like you said, maybe he's going for a second one. Irish. Oh. Rip. Ooh. Ooh. Let's see what happens. Oh, nice reversal by both men there. Another Irish whip. Oh, but Kyle O'Reilly does not want to see Edge in this match, but if I Oof. was him, ooh. Kyle Riley looked like he ducked that a little bit, so. Ooh, Indeed. Right on that shoulder. Oh, here we go. Let's see what Edge has in, play in store for Kyle Riley. Oh, nice. Oof. Nice DDT. Yeah, Bobby Fish is, is hurting right now. I believe that so much. Yeah. But I don't think Kyle Riley wants to tag Bobby Fish in right now. Uh -oh. oh, here it goes. Education. Education. Uh oh. Yep, Bobby Fish is injured, but spear, spear. Oh. Ooh, Bobby gets him back. Oh, uh, but it, what is going to happen now that Kyle O'Reilly is down? I don't think Bobby Fish can get into this match, even break up this cover due to the knee, and it looks like he's not going One, to. One, two. Three. Edge and Christian win the match, and I see why Bobby Fish was injured in this match. I think he just had to stay in the, the, the apron just to, you know, say that you know, he can still get in this match. But playing the mind games against Edge and Christian, but they're two veterans, and they know. Mm -hmm. it's very interesting. It's very interesting uh, what Undisputed Air did tonight. Especially with the injured Kyle O'Reilly, or not Kyle O'Reilly, but Bobby Fish. I, I thought they would have enough, a little bit more in them instead for tonight. But, you know, give, give props to the two veterans, Edge and Christian. I agree with you on that, but, I mean, you know what the, how the Undisputed Era works. If, you know, they go down, they get right back up. And they will, in the future. I believe that. But the main event is here Adam Cole AJ Styles one on one let's see what happens here hey, do, do you hear that guy yeah I do hear that guy jeez stupid idiot on his phone while watching wrestling <laughs> what a nerd sounds like he's talking Dungeons and Dragons and bullshit yeah sounds really stupid I think security's about to come over and slap the taste out of his mouth. I hope so. But the, the question is, though, Scotty Bear, is uh, mm -hmm. we, we see Bobby Fish is out here. He, he mm -hmm. might be trying to play the mind games here. I, mean, I think he's still injured. I think he's going to have to get checked out after the main event. But mm -hmm. all four, four members of the Undisputed Era is here. Indeed. I'm surprised the fifth one isn't out here as well. Who's that? Shelly Martinez. I'm guessing I'm, I'm guessing this is a boys club kind of a uh, showing for tonight. Yes, I mean, uh, that Bobby Fish could stay in the back and, you know, Rod Strong put a head on around her and walk around him. Yeah. But, you know, it's going to be a really good match. I think this is the first time ever Adam Cole, AJ Styles, one-on-one in the main event. 
Kyle O'Reilly. The best one out of them four. Have you not seen him play air guitar on his belt? Come on. That's the best thing in the world. Adam Cole, baby. Uh, Cole Riley is a little bit better than that. Yes, and I'm also receiving word in my headset right now by Jim Tony is after the main event, we will learn who indeed paid off King Omega to attack Finn Balor because they actually found video evidence from backstage that week. That Finn Balor was attacked. Ooh. Well, this is going to be interesting. Um, this is going to be a great match. Um, I don't know if it's going to outdo the beginning, but it's going to do just as well as it possibly can. Yeah, yeah, Kenny Omega and Tyler Bate was a very good match, but we get Adam Cole, AJ Styles, one-on-one. Did you say something? Oh, they did? Finally. I've been sending them tapes for years. Yeah, and they said it's enough. Really? Especially Damn it, this is like my 20th no. Yeah, it was probably Simon Bro, whatever his name is. Simon. I knew it. But look in the corner again with oh 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 and that's got to piss off AJ Styles and yes oh but Adam Cole reversing it already you know that's mind games right there by Adam Cole is punching him like that oh <laughs> man did you see that neck break almost as good as Rick Rude yep and then oh and smart right, get outside get back in and just attack AJ Styles when he gets back in I, I seriously think that punch in the beginning really pissed off AJ Styles. Oh! Man! Uh, yeah, I didn't think that was it. I've noticed that damn referee, he's always down for the count perfectly. It's only like a one. Yeah, indeed. But when it's like a three, you know, you know, it's like a three. Yeah, it's always that. I mean. I've made fun of the ref, you've made fun of the ref, now the ref's coming after me for no apparently good reason. Yeah, I mean... I'm not going to piss him off so he doesn't send me a message. And I'm late to the freaking show, we we'll never get the show up. Well, you see, you get, you get pretty knowledge of that stuff. That is true. That is very true. You get, you get, you get Jim Tunney or whatever his name is in your ear. So... I agree with you. Let's call this action. It's the main event as AJ Styles has Adam Cole by the neck. Adam Cole getting up. I'm trying to get out of that, breaking out of it. Oh, man, right in the midsection. If I was Adam Cole, I would make sure to work on the knee. That knee of AJ Styles is perfectly open to be abused and used. So, Adam Cole, go for the knee. Well, you see, when you've jumped off the top rope so many times in your future, your knees start to get weaker after you land on your knees so many times. So, if if Adam Gold goes after those knees, he's going to do himself oh. some favors in the future. Yeah, but Not by that. jumping off the top, though. Yeah, I don't know what he was thinking. But AJ Styles going for the cover. This could be it. But oh, yeah. Adam Cole midsection's got to be injured right now and hurting. 
Yeah, I'm betting he's feeling it for sure. And, and as soon as you said something about Adam Cole going for the knee, you saw that beautiful, beautifully done by AJ Styles working on that knee of Adam Cole. Indeed. AJ Styles has been on a very bad losing streak recently. And I think he def desperately needs a win tonight to really... Oh, get, man. get him back in that uh, swing of things. Yes, and, and hopefully this is... Oh, what is Kyle O'Reilly doing on the outside? Oh, come on, Kyle. Don't act like you didn't do anything. Oh, no, you see, he's just stretching out his elbow. There's a deep put a damn chair in the ring. The ref didn't see it. Of course he didn't see it. Yep. Oh, watch. He's gonna... He's gonna be... Oh, my Ooh. gosh! Oh. And it's perfectly time to be... Oh, you see? Now, that's the problem with having three guys out here. If you guys are not on the same wavelength, you'll, you'll miss the pinfalls like that. This could be it, Scotty. Could it be it? One, two, ooh. ooh! Kick out at two and like three quarters there. Let's see what he's got coming to him next. Oh. You see, he needs to stop jumping off the ropes. He needs to work on the knee. Continue on working on the knees of AJ Styles. Ooh. And that was a beautiful drop too. Indeed, it was. Oh, oh, you come see? On. Now you see, Kyle Riley's helping him out. You see, he's throwing him back in the ring like a lumberjack would. Oh uh, yeah, but this isn't a lumberjack match. Uh oh, figure four leg lock by Adam Cole. Oh, but AJ Styles. Oh, reversing it. Oh, Immediate reversal. Yes. Great job. Yep, and what you said work on the knee, so both of these guys have got to be working now. Uh oh. Ooh. Ooh. Oofa. Oofa, yeah. By all means, Adam Cole, that his brain might be, uh, AJ Styles thinks he wanted to fly for Bobby Fish, saying something to him there. Yeah. Let's see what he's got coming to him. Ooh. Uh oh. Trying to get the momentum shifting. Pele Ooh, kick. great Pele kick by AJ Styles. Great, perfect. Uh oh. Oof. I don't think that was a rope break, Brett. The, the, the foot was underneath the rope for sure on that one. I don't think it was. It looked like it was uh, almost close, but not quite there. One, two, ooh. Oh, Adam Cole peeking out of that. Oh, man, AJ Styles, might. this might not be a good idea to be outside the ring trying to get the... Phenomenal form with those guys there. Oh, that Adam Cole reversing it. No water in that pool. Indeed, for sure. The, but the ref was also watching the Undisputed Era when he was doing that move. So good good shot on the referee, I guess. Yeah, I guess. I mean, it's so And you know I don't hate everybody. I don't hate anybody. Yeah. Oh, another one of those. Asia Styles has been really working on that head and neck area of Adam Cole. Oh, man. Again, working on that throat. Adam Cole. Stretch the neck. Stretch the neck. Wearing down, take the oxygen levels out. But Asia Styles still working on it. But Adam Cole, not giving up, trying to get out of that. Oh, I'll go with it. Midsection again. Uh oh, up and over. DDT. Oh, Scotty, that was perfectly done. I think Adam Cole might have won this match there. One, two, oh, man. He needed he needed to put a little bit more zest on that DDT to get that three for sure. I'm telling you. What's Kyle Riley doing? Uh, that would be uh, Roderick Strong. Well, my bad. It's kind of hard to see. Uh, 
Suplex. Oh, and look at the tandem dancing oh, by Roderick Strong and Kyle O'Reilly. Hey, Oof. Did you see that cover by Adam Cole? Yeah, that lackadaisical cover. Not really the best for him. Oh, I, I agree. Oh, oh, the Uh-oh. No, don't do it, Adam. We've seen this twice now that you missed. Oh, and the... He's taunting again. I'm telling you, Adam Cole, don't do this. Oh. You see what happens? You get yourself hurt. Yeah, and that midsection's got to be bruising and hurting. AJ Styles lifting up Adam Cole on the apron. I mean, the sec. I broke. Uh oh. Uh oh. Frankensteiner from the oh top. Oh my gosh. Now that has got to be it. But Roger Strong. Is allowing Adam Cole to get back up. Giving oh, him some time. Ref, what is the ref doing just sitting there? Allowing uh -oh. that. Here it is. Oh, Ooh. right on the top of the head. That could be it for the main event. One, two. Oh. oh, my gosh. Another kick out by AJ Styles at two and a half. A beautiful brain buster by Adam Cole. A modified brain buster to that knee. It's going to be a hurt. Well, look, you see, Adam Cole's going for that knee again. Oh, oh. and that could be a cover. One, two. Ooh. Oh, my gosh. AJ Styles just will not quit. And Adam Cole looks like he's getting fl flustered. He's getting frustrated. Oh, right in the back of the neck now. Now oh. that's gotta be it. Let's see what he's going for next. Ooh, beautiful reversal by oh. AJ. Oh, and then the neck off the ropes. Uh oh, Cap Crusher put Adam Cole's leg and foot right on the rope again. And I think AJ Styles is getting frustrated that it's not working. But uh oh, he's calling for it. Look at this! Here it comes. Oh. Ooh. Oh, not allowed. Charge for it. Here it is. Uh -oh. Another brain buster style move. Oh, oh AJ Styles. A knee to the head. To get out of it. Irish whip. What, what is this? Oh, and a nice drop kick by AJ Styles. And this time I think AJ Styles wants to get focused. Here it is, and oh, there it is. Phenomenal forearm, and this time it could be it for Adam Cole. Count it, ref. One, two, three. Oh what? my gosh. A kick out at two. Wow. What a great event. Great job by Adam Cole to drop it or kick out of that. I was shocked by that too. I didn't think he was gonna kick out. He just oh my God. this time should have never jumped off the top rope. Yep, and th that time AJ Styles is the one. Brainbuster. Yep, and, and we said this three times for Adam Cole and one time for AJ Styles, and that actually might be the the final call. One, two, three. And Adam Cole wins the main event tonight, and that surely was a great main event. I thought the first match of the night was very, very well done, but this may have just topped it off just a little bit more. Mm -hmm. And you see, here's also another thing. <clears throat> On this new era, did not interfere at all. They did not touch Adam Cole or AJ Styles. They did not get in, they did not touch the ref. They didn't use anything to their advantage at all. Oh, don't lie to yourself. They used the damn chair. You saw freaking Roger Strong messing with the turnbuckle pad. What are you talking about? 
they were they, really a factor in this match. They did not touch an opponent in this match. But they touched the chairs that Adam Cole used at the corner to really injure AJ Styles in the beginning of the match. And I'm just seeing that now. Roger Strong is attacking AJ Styles on the outside. What kind of bullshit is this? Okay, now that's not cool. But oh, good day. Oh, Future Jim Tunney announcement. Here with an important announcement concerning one of our brightest, if not our brightest, overall stars in Finn Balor. Unfortunately, he has suffered multiple broken ribs, and he will be out for at least six to nine months. We're all very heartbroken here, and hope for a speedy recovery. And as you heard from Commissioner Jim Tunney, Finn Balor out six to nine months from what happened by Kenny Omega. Where's my match? I don't do I have know. to be do I have to be Mr. Kennedy all of a sudden here? Yeah, but we're about to find out who paid Kenny Omega off that night in just a few seconds, Scotty. Any suggestions or predictions on who paid him off? It could be anybody, to be truthful and honest. I wouldn't be surprised if it's What? Excuse me? Shawn Michaels paid Kenny Omega off? How did you get this footage? It, Shawn Michaels just won the Destined for Greatness briefcase. At Mayhem. And he's the one that paid Kenny Omega? This must have been a conspiracy for him to get that briefcase in the end. Don't, don't, Ken, don't king to me right now, okay? Listen... How? That, that's that's an accident. That has to be an accident. Why? Why, Shawn Michaels? Why? You, you, especially when there's a bunch of cameras around. That can't be. It can't be. It can't be, Shawn. It can't be. I don't know, but we're out of time, ladies and gentlemen. We will be back next week. Future Wrestling. From me and Scotty. Have a great night, ladies and gentlemen. See you next week. Give me my match! Yeah, please. Give him match. Uh, Jim Tony, give him a damn match. Any last words for the crowd and the fans, Scotty? You all are suckers and losers. Good night, everyone. From us. See you next week on Future Wrestling.